All right, just out on a little one now. Thought I'd uh, show you a few different plants. I'm literally just walking down an old railway line uh, somewhere near Bladen. You can hear the A1 just over there, like. But uh, I'll flip the camera around and start giving you a look. Here we are. We just have a look at this one here. This is Herb Bennett from. Absolutely wonderful plant. It's got little yellow flowers. I'll chuck some photos in because my camera is absolutely crap at focusing. But uh, it, it starts off growing in a nice little rosette like this. You've got your three lobe leaf, uh, three lobe leaf there. One, two, either side, and then you've got your terminal one there. Also coming down your stem. You've got your two opposite tiny leaflets. It's quite rough to the touch, you can probably hear it. And then as it matures, it'll shoot these up like this. So the the leaf sort of slightly changes just a little bit. And as it comes up towards the flowering part, they become sort of slightly longer and they don't necessarily have the three lobed. But also another cool thing is the flower actually turns to the seed pod. So the flower becomes a seed and that, that's it there that it comes to seed. And it relies on plants, uh, sorry, uh, animals passing by and people uh, so the seeds can attach onto the fur and get dispersed through animals. But uh, it's a wonderful plant. You can eat, you can eat the leaves. Uh, it's very astringent, so it will dry your mouth out a little bit. But uh, the roots are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so the, uh, the roots are absolutely fantastic. Uh, you, you pull them up. Obviously, you need landowner's permission to uh, uproot any plants, uh, unless if it's your own land. Uh, yeah, so you would uproot them. And you've got like a main tuber, which is quite chunky. And if you snap it in half, it's got like a purple, purple core. Uh, but you use that main root for like if you've got stomach complaints while you're out in the woods which is comes in very handy if you're out in the woods quite a lot uh, yes yeah, so that's wonderful it's it, also it's got like little rootlets coming off like sort of uh, all over the the main tuber and what you can do is you can clean them up and add them into your cooking oil uh, Nice if you're cooking fish or something like that. It's got like a bit that can be used as a clove substitute. Yeah, so that was uh, Herb Bennett, or also known as Wood Avens. Uh, I've got a write up on Facebook. Uh, I can drop the comment, uh, I'll drop a link in the comments. Right, I'll flip this back around. All right, and this wonderful plant here is called Herb Robert. Uh, camera's not really showing it well, but it's got lovely pink flowers with sort of whitey purpley stripes going up them. Uh, it's a member of the Cranesville family. I will insert photos, some detailed photos so you can see. Uh, absolutely wonderful. You can, you can eat the flowers. Uh, you can eat the leaves. Uh, it's, it's not the nicest of tasting, but I've been eating this stuff for a while now and I, I've... I've Grown to like it, uh, but yeah, absolutely wonderful. It starts off in a little rosette, uh, sort of like this one here next to us. I'm literally just right on the edge of the path. Uh, so here, Robert, there starts off in a nice little rosette, shooting them off. These lovely feathery leaves. The stem's got hairs going all the way down, but then. It'll shoot out and start flowering and send out these little uh, camera's not focusing. But they're a member of the Cranes Bill family. Sort of represents the beacon of Cranes Bill. Uh, yeah, so leaves, flowers, are edible. Yeah, so the leaves and flowers are edible on Herb Robert. Uh, also, you can crush up the leaves and rub them all over your skin. It helps as like an insect repellent. It's nicknamed Stinky Bob, so that sort of gives you a clue. It, it does whiff a little bit. 
Uh, but also it's a wonderful medicinal plant as well. It's one of the carpenter's herbs. Uh, which is like a select group of plants uh, which all carpenters used to use if they like the go-to plants if they'd cut themselves uh, and Herb Robert is one of them uh, absolutely fantastic I've used it before when I accidentally went through my finger with a bow saw uh, it was pissing up blood uh, not a nice situation uh, so Herb Robert chew loads of that up yeah you would just chew the leaves the stems big handful chuck them in your gob chew them up and uh, apply a portless to wherever it's pissing the blood uh, but yeah it works really well uh, there's a few others uh, there's yarrow, yarrow's classed as carpenter's herb, wound wort uh, yeah there's quite a few like uh, wonderful plants to know them too so that's Herb Robert and Herb Bennett or Woodhavens but yeah uh, there's absolutely loads there just walking down absolutely loads Right folks, and here we have wild strawberry. I don't know whether you can see you've got the main point, like the very end one. If that one is shorter than the two next to it, that's the barren wild strawberry. But if it is longer or generally the same length, like this one here, that one should hopefully produce wild strawberries. But then if you look at this one next to it, See how that one is a lot shorter? Here we are, managed to find some. This is uh, garlic mustard in its later stage. So it'll start off a little rosette and then it'll shoot this spike up. Then you'll get these seed pods some of them look like they've already split open but you'll get nice little black seeds in garlic mustard seeds uh, uh, very, very nice very nice wild edible you tend to eat the leaves in this younger stage and then go for the seed pods at this time of year which is what we're in but it's coming on the back end of August now uh, yeah, as you can see that there's, there's a few of them like dotted about in amongst all the new growth yes yeah, so that's garlic mustard right last quick one cars just over there like there uh, right this one self heal or heal all two seconds uh, this wonderful little one is purple flowers are perfectly ready uh, that's like I say self heal wonderful you can eat the leaves and that uh, but mainly medicinal any cuts grazes scrapes anything like that chew some of them up and apply it and it'll help stop the bleeding uh, very effective re really good uh, these little these little ones with the five leaves these little co covering the ground yeah, it's a uh, torment till. Re really good astringent. Uh, absolutely fantastic if you've got mouth ulcers. Yeah, it's really good if you've got like mouth ulcers. Uh, Bleeding gums, stuff like that. You make a gargle out the out of the, uh, really effective. Like, but uh, they're two really good ones there. Uh, know as well. So self heal and torment till, uh, torment till gets little yellow flowers. Uh, lovely little low covering plant. Uh, yes. Yeah, so hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, keep an eye out for the next next few that are that'll be coming up. Uh, thanks again. See you later.